Before you got bracelet, you weren't very lucky, man. Don't feel very lucky now. Believe in it. So when we first meet Eve, she's decided to pervert the course of the dynasty of this lucky bracelet. She's a romantic and she's incredibly passionate and rebellious and she decides that if she gives Harry this bracelet, that his sense of justice will uncover this crime scene, this, this, you know, this underbelly, this shadow that's falling over London. Harry, luck like this has a price. <laughs> Do something good with it. <laughs> There's definitely chemistry, but I believe that she doesn't want to distract him from the greater purpose. He doesn't have to believe in me, he just has to believe in it. As the relationship develops, Harry begins to question why she's bestowed the bracelet on him. Uh, what it means, has she done it for the right reasons or for her own reasons? The woman that was with me that night is a criminal. The woman who gave me this. You're still gambling, aren't you? What? Eve Best is playing Anna, that's Harry's long-suffering wife. Um, and one of the spines of the show is to see if we can get the two of them back together again. As far as she's concerned, the relationship is over and on paper wants to move on. I think deep down she doesn't want to move on at all, of course, and she's still very much in love with Harry, but don't tell him that. Can we start all over again? <laughs> Seriously, I'm serious. We can get it all back. They're two very strong characters. They um, clearly have been very attracted to each other, been very in love, you know, they have their daughter who's their at times glue, but also their life. Harry's compulsive behaviour, his inability to kind of sort himself out in terms of the gambling, has clearly got to say where I think she has no option but to kind of kick him out. You have no idea what you're playing with. Who's pulling at your strings? Rich, I didn't properly introduce you. This is D.S. Chohan. She's um, very good. Suri is so ambitious and interested in being a better detective, and she takes her job really seriously. Why are you texting a dead man, Harry? We can't investigate a murder if you're considered a suspect. You are not a suspect. As we go through the series, their relationship massively changes because of the fact that he doesn't share everything with her in order to protect her. As Harry pushes things more and more to the edge, as he begins to, to walk the line very finely between what is uh, legitimate and what is at least questionable, if not criminal. Their relationship becomes more and more fractured. I own you, Detective Clayton. You're mine to do with as I please. I play Lillianne Lau, who is um, the daughter of the casino owner, who, um, who exits quite quickly in the series, and then she sort of takes over his throne. And from that, she really becomes quite involved in the underworld. And of course, Harry Clayton is trying to investigate that side of things. And, and, and he does think that she's related to a lot of bad things that's happening. You're playing a very dangerous game, Harry. She's a very mysterious character. A lot of her dealings happens off screen. And then of course, Harry finds that the route is back to Lillianne. Oh, Lillianne. 